Hi, I'm Jade, and today I'm unboxing one of my kits. So, today we will be unboxing one of my ready to ship kits. So, if um, I say something is ready to ship, that means that this is in the shop right now. You can go uh, to the link down below, I'll be linking the ready to ship section. And that means you can grab this and it should be to you in about a week, um, you know, with processing and shipping time because I can't control how long UPS takes. Hello, Frizzy. So uh, we're going to be unboxing this and um, you can go and get one right now. They're in the shop. And uh, yeah, let's get going. So this is a um, kit. This is Serenity by uh, Martic Art. So here is a picture. Um, of this kit. This is what we will be working on together. So you get a washi tape, shade green washi, oop, I throw it. Um, and obviously like I, I, I'm not gonna be not going to be speaking as to quality or like my review because it's it's my shop so I feel like no matter what I'm biased but there are plenty of other people who do review my shop on YouTube. Just search Jada Gem Shop you will see all the reviews, positive, negative, all of that, and I welcome any type of reviews because you can't improve until somebody tells you something needs to be improved. So, we have our drills when it's ready to ship. They come in like chains, like they're where they're connected, um, so that's kind of cool, which is not always the case with the other ones. Don't worry, we still have plenty of made to order, so you can still get everything in all the sizes, all the shapes, crystals, no crystals, grid lines, no grid lines, um, ABs, no ABs, um, you know, you can get everything, nothing, just the kit, whatever you want to do, you got that. So I don't know what I've talked about since the last time I did an unboxing. I have not been filming YouTube videos very much, except my husband, I'm a little embarrassed, do not look at me. So the new kits, or well, Recently, the kits have been coming with release papers. These are double-sided release papers, so you could stick them either way. You don't have to worry about it getting stuck to your canvas. It's going to be good. You're going to go. That is my husband. <laughs> So here is our perfect little kit. Uh, as you can see, there is the schematic. We have, um, you know, the barcode and 40 by 40. That just means, you know, that is a 40 by 40. We have our 58 colors. Focus, baby, focus. Okay. Don't know how much you care to see that. We do have our symbols, which are super clear, as you can see. That is one thing I love about my kits. They are super clear, and especially since we um, did away with the super, you know, dark grid line, I feel like you can see the symbols even clearer. Like, there is no way you're getting any of those confused. Look at all those. Let's find this little face. Oh, there we are. Hello, little boy. I don't know if this is a boy or not, but in my mind, this is a cute little boy. So we have, you know, the canvas. Uh, there is, you know, all of my logos and stuff, but you're already here, so I don't feel like that matters. And again, this is Serenity by Martin. And, um, I just think this is a super cute kit. It does look very dark just as it is which I feel like a lot of my kits do but I'm not worried because I've seen the like final render and there's a lot more light tones and greens and browns and it's gonna be beautiful I already know like all of these D's those are like a brown color so it's not gonna look as deep and dark and you know spooky as it looks now we do still have kind of a negative effect but it makes for even a better what is what would you say reveal of your painting even when you're it's for yourself so I think this is gonna be glorious and I'm really excited for all of these greens now let's take a second to look at the drills 
Now, just to steer you clear of any fear, I'm going to show you how vibrant a lot of the colors are. So you're not so concerned with how dark it is. We got some peaches, gray, like chartreuse, pea green, a nice like mid-tone purple, more yellows and peaches purples, even a little bit of white. This one is going to have a lot of warm, earthy tones for the little baby fox's skin fur. They don't have skin that is, like, readily seen. I'm excited for these greens. And see, this is that rich, dark brown. But especially when it's on a canvas, I feel like it really pops um, and makes things feel a little bit more warm, even when there's, like, dark contours. Now we're getting into the lighter greens. Look at those rich reds and browns and rusty orange. Oh, way up. And those greens. This is one of my favorite colors. See, this is why you don't try and do things one-handed. I love... Look at how shiny and flat those backs are. Yes, there's going to be a couple pieces of trash, but I still get tons of reviews on my drills that say they're like the best they've ever had. So I'm not saying that, but people have said that. And you can see reviews on my website. If you go to the top, it says reviews. And you can go there and look at all of the reviews people have left. We do have a decent amount of 310. I can already tell you there's so much extra. They always send so much extra, so never worry about running out. And if you do run out, we do have like insurance um, and you will get drills sent to you. No problem, no worries. More grays, those reds and peaches. I love me some greens. The olivey greens, they do something for me. Like, that is beautiful. I wish I had... You know, I actually do think I have a sweater in this color. 850 or 8, 890 is another deep green that I adore. Look at how pretty. And those deep colors that are really going to help make those bright colors pop in contrast. So uh, my plan for adding special drills, which I like to do on my own. And again, you can buy um, crystals and ABs in sets from me if you like to bling things up your own like I do. I think I will add some crystals to the iris. You know, some rich brown, brownie orange crystals. Um, other than that, I think that's like the majority what I would do. I think it could be really pretty to add some ABs in these highlighted areas as if like the sun's bouncing off their fur and it's like super shiny. I personally don't like ABs, but I think that would be really pretty. And also maybe putting some ABs in these like highlights of the grass I think would be beautiful. Sorry for the shadow, just trying to get a good look at this kit. And one more show of the grid or, you know, the symbols. I feel like things are pretty clear. I don't feel like I would have any issue reading these at all. You know, we got the uh, yin-yang sign, arrows, slanty ball, U-turn, uh, chocolate bar, U-D-F. Y with lines and I think this is gonna be a super fun kit also as you can tell very confetti I like confetti if you know me you know this and I feel like it always shows the true artist intention when there's a ton of confetti which is why I prefer it so let's hop back up and we can talk more I never quite fully know what to say when I'm like up close and personal so if you guys could say like what are the things that you want to be pointed out or talked about when um, a creator is looking up close at a canvas. Uh, 
I mean, for me, symbol clarity was always super important, but I don't know. Did you like seeing the drills? Should I just skip the drills? Um, I felt like it was important just because of how dark this appears to be. It's definitely not that dark considering the drills. There's not, there's not going to be that crazy. And I think they totally overgave me, um, three tendrils. I do not think you're going to use four big bags and it says it's 5,000. I don't. I think they oversent by a lot. I think they sent like almost double what we needed for three tens. But hey, you know, if you need some good three tens, keep them in your stash. You're going to be good to go. And, you know, um, I just, just in case, just to cover our bases, because I don't remember what I've said in past videos, we do have a soft lint back and a beautiful glittery front so it's gonna like even if there's gaps say you pick, choose around it's still gonna have sparkle you're not gonna be at a loss for that we do have very sticky glue oh. very sticky and very clear symbols so I think that is all I can say about quality I mean I really love working on my kits I think my past three kits that I finished were my kits and I, I feel like cocky saying that but hey this is my channel this is my business what can I say I mean I'm not saying I don't like other companies I definitely like Darn Art Club I like you know Enablers Outpost um Unimade beautiful love it uh we actually uh, are sharing an artist um we came together and communicated and figured out that we could do that without like being like salty and weird I don't know but uh yeah so thank you so much for watching this video please let me know what type of videos you want to see more of do you want to see more unboxings do you want to see more post reviews I have like 10 post reviews I could film because I did finishes in my hiatus from filming videos I've mostly just been doing live streams by the way you can catch me weekly on Thursdays um live streaming just saying whatever warning I do curse way more than I do in YouTube videos. I don't know why. I think it's because when I talk to you, I feel like I'm talking to like my students. So I think that's why. So uh, anyways, um, other than that, you can join us on Facebook. Uh, I think it's, it will, well, I, I'll make sure it's linked below, but I think it already is in the presets anyway. Um, if you want to be part of making decisions for the shop, like which kits become ready to ship, uh, what kind of commissions I do from artists, things like that. Join our Facebook group, and we love to see whips and stuff on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere you want to share them. I watch all YouTube reviews. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to them, but I do watch them. And, uh, yeah, so we have Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube right here. And if you want to see the releases every Thursday, uh, we usually have about eight images every Thursday that we add. You can go ahead and uh, go to the website. The first thing is sign up for email notifications or something like that. And if you put in your email, you will get notified weekly when we drop things. And you can also just check the website on the um, diamond painting section. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here. Please give me feedback so I'm not a bumbling idiot 100% of the time. And I'll see you next time. Bye.